I just saw this extraordinary movie called In the Loop, and it's one of those movies that it does not lay anything out for you. And if, but if you are willing to sit there and watch it, it all comes together and it makes sense. But we we just we just kind of come stumbling out of this summer of movies. Like a, it's like we're a sorority girl doing a walk of shame out of a frat house. We've just been so pummeled, and with these, I've literally seen movies somewhere where they will they will literally freeze the film and go, "This is this guy, and he's angry at him." So get ready, because this is gonna. It, it's it's it isn't even film anymore. It's like a, I I don't know what it is. And then you get to see a movie like In the Loop that actually, or The Hurt Locker that engages you and goes, I'm "Not gonna explain everything." Right off, we're not being mean or trying to be above your heads, but we're just confident in the story. It'll all make sense. We're not we're not desperate. We're not mean. I never met the guy, but I play uh, this guy named Ed Herbst, who is uh, one of the many. Um, he just, Matt Damon just keeps falling through this, this ever-widening circle of different FBI agents and Treasury agents, and I'm just one of the many that's during the fall that just, we each just see a glimpse of the disaster that's coming. I, I don't want to spoil the movie. It's so good. It's so fucking good. If you're passionate enough about something and you really care and you describe it clear enough, people will always rise to the occasion. But if you're always, if you're thinking beforehand of like, are they going to get what I'm talking about? Then they're just going to, people are going to sense they're being either talked down to or that you are censoring yourself and it just doesn't make it as lively and fun. I think people are actually more drawn to the you're in good hands with me. You're not going to get all this stuff immediately, but just come along. It'll all make sense at the end. Like, I'm just a big believer in that. I think audiences have always been equally receptive to... They just, they're equally receptive to someone who is quietly confident and having fun in what they're doing. There's always been hacks who just want to follow formulas and, and don't trust their audiences. And there's always been people that really love what they're doing and just trust the audience is going to come along and get it. That script was so much fun to read because it was exactly what I was talking about. It was it's it's based on a real guy who got wrapped up in a corporate scandal and he had clearly watched a lot of those you know movies like The Firm with Tom Cruise and all these Scott Grisham throws and really wanted this to go down just like the paperbacks that he read on his plane trips and man reality just will not conform to that script and it is such the movie is such a fantastic mess it is such a mess in a great way the way that in the loop and the hurt locker is that you had better either pay attention if you pay attention you're gonna have such a great time and if you don't you're fucked in my world view um i just always look at other people that people to me are always it's they know things that i don't and i can learn from them rather than oh here i'm gonna just lay my wisdom on you because if i already know or feel something well, what what benefit do i get from repeating it or hearing it in my head again you know it's just all you're doing is repeating those conversations you have at night where you imagine that you're you know just nailing every aspect of a conversation well that's not fun you know you don't learn anything from that so i think the worst thing in the world for a comedian or for anyone if if you are in a circle of people and you're the best then you're not going to grow like it's just going to you're going to atrophy but I'm surrounded by people that are so much funnier and quicker than me that it just keeps my game up all the time. You're, imagine like Superman on this planet. Basically, it's not that he is so strong and smart. Is that to him, he's just on a planet of brittle-boned morons who can't, you know, leap and get out of gravity. So, you know, that's all he, he's just surrounded by people that are slower and dumber than he is. That's got to be horrible. See, I wish I could tell you that I had this system where I record myself on stage and I write notes. My most valuable tool in my quiver o laughs is going up on stage over and over and over again and refining it on stage. I, I, I've I, never had the discipline to sit down and write like other friends of mine. I just go on stage over and over until I get it. That's lit. That's my only system, and that's my 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 most valuable tool. Is I actually love going on stage, so I do it a lot, and so that's there. You go.